Hello, my name is Travis McHenry, and I'm the creator of the Egyptian Star Oracle. So this deck uses a different kind of astrology uh, than most people might be used to. It uses Egyptian astrology as it was practiced around 2100 BC. It's a long time ago. So uh, even though it comes with a really in-depth uh, guidebook, which has got tons of information about each card and about what goes into making each card, I still thought it might be beneficial to do a couple of sample readings with the deck uh, using the different spreads that I've created. So here it is. All right, so we've shuffled this. Uh, I've been thinking of a question the whole time that, uh, that I was that I was uh, shuffling these cards, and that is I have a trip coming up. So I'm supposed to be going to visit my son. Uh, tomorrow I'm actually leaving. Uh, I haven't seen him in a couple years, well actually more than a couple. And uh, so I'm going to visit him in Texas and uh, gonna be there for, for almost a full week. Very excited about the trip, and I just wanna get a little insight on how that trip is gonna go. So let's see, we're gonna do a four card spread. This is the life cycle of a star. It is. Um, it involves the, the birth, the rebirth, the culmination, the death, all that. So we'll start on this side here. We'll do the um, the birth of the star first, and then we do the culmination, the descent into the duat, and the rebirth. Okay, so these are our four cards. One, two, three, four. So the first card is Abundance, Bawe, the two souls. Bawe, the two souls, would be two people that are together. Uh, it, it's a relationship card. It also signifies abundance. So from this perspective, the beginning of my journey, the, the first uh, you know sort of thing I can expect to underlie the entire experience of, of spending time with my son is gonna be two souls, two people together, hanging out and also the concept of abundance. So we're probably gonna have a pretty good time together. And then moving up to the culmination, this is sort of the highest point, uh, what is you know, gonna be the best possible outcome of this, of this experience, of this trip that I'm taking. It's Tepias Semed, who is the predecessor of the horn, and it stands for Tree of Life and Wisdom. Now this is really interesting because my son is turning 16, um, you know, we're not sure if he's gonna actually take his driver's test or not. You know, a lot of young kids these days don't really wanna get a driver's license. They don't want the, the hassle of owning a car. So I'm trying to impart on him that he needs to get his driver's license and learn how to drive. I'm gonna be teaching him wisdom uh, and life skills uh, during that trip. But also, you know, I haven't seen him in five, six years. So there could be information, things that I'm going to learn from him uh, that I don't already know. So that could also be what this card represents. But it's in a high position, it's in the culminating position. So that means it's, it's generally gonna be a positive outcome, uh, whatever's in this, this uh, culminating position. Now below that, after the star culminates, it disappears, it descends, it goes into the duat, hidden beneath the horizon for 70 days. And in this case, my card in the dua is Sopdet, goddess of the flood, the decan number 36. Her hieroglyphic is here, it's the pyramid. And it shows uh, you've got uh, the rains coming from a divine source. This is sort of like the ace of cups, if you will, pouring out the blessings. Uh, Sopdet is being uh, revered by these farmers here. And you got another farmer there. He's already starting to harvest what is uh, the, the resulting blessings coming from this inundation. Now these two cards are really good to have uh, side by side, abundance and inundation. Uh, in the terms of this deck, these two things mean have very similar meanings. Inundation means sort of what's coming, the forthcoming abundance, and this is the abundance realized. So this position, the duat, it's what's underlying the general reading. It's, it's what's sort of beneath the surface. And this would indicate it's gonna be, again, a positive experience. Inundation means I'm gonna be getting a lot. Now, uh, I'm also gonna be seeing my ex-wife during this trip, because that's his mother, and she and I don't get along very well. So the inundation part of that can be something that is overwhelming you. You know, I'm not just gonna be getting a new experience with my son where we're seeing each other again. I'm also gonna be having to deal with the additional stuff of my ex-wife. So sometimes inundation can be more than you can handle. It's a lot of something. 
Uh, and when this has come up, this card has come up for me in the past, it's generally indicated it's, you know, when it rains, it pours. And this literally shows raining and pouring. Uh, so, so that could also be underlying the experience I'm about to have also having to deal with my ex-wife. So then the final outcome, this is the rebirth position. After the star is down in the duat for 70 days, it is reborn. It comes on the horizon again. In this case, it is Raman Kari Sha or Raman Kari Sa, which is the lower arm of Sa. And Sa, of course, is the Egyptian name for the constellation Orion, as we know Orion today. And uh, this card represents illumination or revelation. This is something new that you're learning that you didn't know before. Uh, it shows the a metal worker stoking the fire. He's pumping the, the pedal here to the bellows to put it more air in the fire so that he can, um, can work with metal. Uh, crafting something new, you know, that's that's the element of, of illumination or revelation. So these two cards are really closely connected. This is actually a great reading because it shows me the accuracy of it just because these two angles are connected and these two angles are connected. Tree of life and wisdom, illumination, revelation. So now I know for sure I'm going to be learning something new while I'm with my son. There will be some new information or revelation that will be revealed and that, that hopefully will, you know, make our relationship stronger. So that's it. I, it's, you know, I was hoping to get it. There's a couple cards in here that relate to travel. I was hoping to kind of get those to know the trip itself will be fine. But all these cards are just about my experience actually in Texas with my with my son and, and my ex-wife. Sorry, Soap Debt. You had to sort of take the uh, bite. The, I got to bite the bullet on that one. So this is a basic four card reading. There's another version that's 10 cards. They stack up like a pyramid. I don't really have the space to do that here. And then there's another one that's 12 cards. It actually crosses the Book of Nut, the Book of Nut's body. It's it's like the stars going through her body at night. Um, so so that's how it works. You know, the meanings are right on the card, and it's it's just like my previous decks. It's not just what's written on the card. It's the picture. It's the the meaning of the decan itself. Um, predecessor of the horn in this case, but you know you saw over here the two souls. It's a relationship card, even though the word abundance doesn't signify relationships. You know I've tried to use the artwork to symbolize the the card holistically, and and that's what you you've really got for all these. You know you look at the tree of life and wisdom. Uh, it it's just a tree, but look at what's inside of it. The baboons, which are uh, sort of the avatars of the god Toth, who is the the Egyptian god of writing, of wisdom, of knowledge. And look at them, they're eating the tree. So they are gaining the same kind of knowledge that human beings have. That, that's what that symbolizes, which is how you get life and wisdom out of it. So I hope this has been helpful to show you how to use the Egyptian star oracle. Oh, here, let me show you another picture of it. This is gonna be on Kickstarter for I think about another two weeks. And uh, after that, you will eventually be able to purchase this deck but it probably won't be available to the general public until around March of, of next year, maybe February, if I can really get my, get my supply logistics in order, but probably around March of next year. And thanks for watching.